When Vinicius Jr. gets the ball these days, most defenders know that they're absolutely screwed because he's direct, he is ridiculously fast, and then he just moves the ball like the most natural thing in the world. And in today's video, we're gonna teach you five Vinicius Jr. skills that are really nice to have in your locker. And we start out with something as simple as a cut. Vinicius likes to make this drastic, almost 90 degree sharp change of direction. And usually it catches people on the back foot. It's really effective if you can get the defender to commit either with a body feint by opening up your body or by doing a fake shot. And then you touch the ball with the inside of your foot directly on the other side to the angle you want to cut in. Almost as if you're planting the inside of your foot in the ground with a lot of power. Next, Vinicius Jr. likes to do a variation of the Cruyff turn, but he usually does it with his sole, almost stopping the ball, instead of dragging it back with the instep like Cruyff did. So if you're being closed down by a defender, you can change direction quickly by stepping next to the ball with your weak foot and then stopping the ball and rolling it slightly back with the sole of your strong foot. And if you nail that, <laughs> well, poor defender. Third move is a sole roll panna, which is quite simple, but executed to perfection, especially when Vinicius Jr. did it against Galatasaray. Here, he's caught in the corner by two defenders, but by stopping the ball with the sole and rolling it back and turning his body, he allows himself to open his body and face the defenders, giving him the advantage. And then he can relatively easily do a panna on the defender. And it was in that moment, the defender knew he messed up. Fourth move requires a bit of skill, especially if you want to do the hardcore boss version like this. But here, Vinicius used an inside tap with the instep of his foot to turn. Now, the boss version requires timing and a fantastic dampening touch. But the normal version, where you come towards the ball, open your legs, and then use the instep of your foot to guide the ball out behind you while you already started turning, is a great and easy way to lose the defender. And lastly, there's the tap inside tap, which I like to refer to as two scoops of humiliation. Because first things first, poor Patrick Schick got absolutely roasted there. But the way Vinicius did this was to tap the ball with his strong foot into his weak foot, which he then angled inwards to direct the ball out behind him with a bit of a scoop. And while he does that, his body starts turning towards the foot that started the move. And this will take some time to master, especially at speed. But think of it as a scoop with a Cruyff turn at the end and a turn. So there you go, my friends, five Vinicius Junior skills that I reckon would be nice to know for every fast and technical player out there. And if you like learning skills and would love to improve even more as a footballer, there's a big playlist right down there that you can go and check out after you're done watching this video. But before you do that, tell me which player you'd like me to teach your skills from next in the comment section or right down below. And then maybe go and check out Vinicius's new materials via the link to unisportstore.com right over there. And of course, before you bounce, make sure you've subscribed to the channel to to join one of the best and biggest football communities here on YouTube. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.